Welcome everyone to Boulder Rotary, the best place to be on a Friday afternoon in Boulder, Colorado. Welcome, uh, it's great to see so many of you here in person, um, see your smiling faces, um, even under masks sometimes, and also welcome to all those joining us on Zoom. I think we have about 15 people on Zoom. I'm Lena Kotke, and I am filling in for, past, for President Chad Stamm today, who is away on a weekend date in Vail. He and Allie are getting away for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic by themselves. They've uh, left their son with Allie's mom, so they're, earning, they're having a well-deserved weekend, and I'm happy to fill in. But if there are any rough spots today, you can blame a rusty past president for anything that goes wrong. Uh, now Pam Heink is going to welcome our in-person visitors and guests, followed by Vanessa, who will introduce our Zoom visitors. Um. It's always, always, always wonderful to have guests. And I think we have about four, maybe five. So if you have brought someone, please stand up and have them stand up and I'll come to you. And you can, you can give them, um, uh, you can tell us a little bit about them. Um, and then, did you hear that? If you have a guest, you stand up and your guest stands up. Okay. <laughs> um, I think probably we were all guests at one point in time. Oh my goodness, we have guests that didn't have someone bring them today, so I get to introduce them. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Live from Boulder, it's Nancy Chin Wagner. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so I just want to say I brought two guests, because I think the third person didn't make it. So we don't have to move the camera like different ways. Okay, the first person I have right here, and I met these guys um, just two days ago. Two days ago at <laughs> a networking event and talked about Boulder Rotary, and here they are. This is Chris Austin from Next Capital Management. He's a financial advisor, um, and his headquarters is in New York, and he opened a branch here. This is Dan Sterling, and Dan Sterling is a business coach, and he's out here to meet new people. So I hope you all be nice Rotarians like I know you are, and come by and say hello to them, because we don't want, you know, like Linda talk his ear out, or, or <laughs> one of our other guys, so Bob. So please, uh, welcome them, they're new in town too. Thank you. Do we other, have other guests? Yes. Should I stand here? Um, yes, and I'll give you just about one minute. Tell us something exciting about yourself. Uh, I showed up to Rotary today for the food. <laughs> no, uh, it's a nice networking group, so that's why I showed up. My name is Victor Cafaro and I have a farmer's agency. Thank you. Yesterday, uh, I'm gonna tell something on Lena. Lena said that when she applied for a job once, at the end of the application, or the interview, they asked her what, uh, for one word, that they should remember about her. And her response was, Lena? Oh, I said my name because they said, Linda, what's one thing you want us to remember? And I said, my name, it's Lena. <laughs> Please tell us, yeah, tell us your name. Hi, I'm Kathy Policita. I'm a member of um, Boulder Rotary, and I just started on the foundation board. And I was... I was a member of this board years ago before I had my stroke six years ago. And when I saw that your topic was on adaptive um, sports, I rode my bikes eight miles to get here. Thank you, Kathy, for coming. This is so exciting that you've come back to visit us here. Okay. Is there anyone else that is a guest? or a visitor? Okay. Give us your name and a quick uh, blurb about yourself. 
Okay, well, my name's uh, Richard, and uh, this is my third time as a guest, so maybe we've been dating long enough. For, uh, have to sign da Danny's kind of clo trying to close the deal here, I think. Yeah, so. Right. Thank you. Is there anyone else? I didn't want to miss anybody. Okay. You know, I think this is, I thought about that. I think we probably all started out as a guest at one time. Isn't that true? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I, uh, I would like to introduce... Uh, to uh, introduce the guest from online, which is uh, Chuck Aldaney. If you'd like to say a few words, Chuck, unmute yourself, and we'd like to say hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I think if you have the microphone, if you would take your mask down, we could hear a little better. So that would, going forward, that will help, I think. So welcome to all of our guests online and in person. And Kathy, it is wonderful to have you back. So good to see you again. And, and welcome back to Boulder Rotary. I do have a few announcements. Um, as you all know, the city now has a citywide mask mandate in place for all indoor gatherings. So uh, the board has uh, decided that we need to be masked unless we're seated eating and drinking. So if you need to get up and move around, please don't forget your mask. Also, one week from today, we're going to be holding our first ever Boulder Rotary Motor Musical, a drive-in movie uh, featuring the Sound of Music at the YMCA, at the field adjacent to the YMCA at 95th and Arapahoe. This is intended to be a friend-raising event and also a family-friendly event, so we hope that you'll tell your friends and neighbors and invite them to come. It is a free event, but we're hoping to raise some funds for our foundation um, during the event. There are limited spaces, I think a maximum of 70 cars, so please uh, get your registration in soon. You can go to Boulder Rotary slash movie and sign up for this unique one-of-a-kind event. We were originally going to do this in May, but you may remember May was a little rainy, and uh, our, first, our first attempt got rained out. Okay, how many of you remember the Kingston Trio? Do I see hands? Okay. Well, we have six tickets to the Kingston Trio donated by Marty Evans. It's for a concert at the Paramount Theater. And yes, the Kingston Trio is still around. <laughs> Maybe a few uh, new personnel. But um, on October 2nd, they will be at the Paramount Theater in Denver. And Marty Evans had six tickets, which she is unable to use because of a football game and a wedding that she uh, has to go to and she thought she couldn't do uh, a concert too. So she would like to auction these off. So I am going to start the bidding for six tickets to the Kingston Trio on October 2nd at $60. Do I have anyone who would like $60? I have one bid for 60, how about 70? Six tickets, this is, a, they're probably about $50 a person. So at $10 a person, this is, this is a real bargain. How about 15 a person, <laughs> Jim? <laughs> 15, all right, good. What a sport. All right, we'll, we'll give you six tickets to the Kingston Trio, Jim. Thank you so much, Jim Radoski. Also, um, we do need a laptop uh, for Vanessa still, so if you have an extra one sitting around you'd like to donate to Boulder Rotary, we'd be very grateful. And finally, I want to remember today our former Boulder Rotarian and friend, Frances Draper, who passed away last week. Uh, there was a lovely tribute to her in the Daily Camera. I hope you were able to read it. Uh, talking about her many accomplishments at CU and her unique way of bringing people together to address challenging problems. Um, she was often known to say when in a tough negotiation, there's a pony in this for everyone. And that really shows uh, her, her emphasis on collaboration versus uh, division and divisiveness. So she was a real gem. Uh, we're lucky to have known her and she left us too soon. 
Now it is time for our raffle. So get out your tickets and your reading glasses so you can see the numbers. The winning ticket today, you got your tickets ready? Number 838-8473. 473 are the last three numbers. And it's our visitor, wonderful. All right. You get the proceeds from our raffle today. The other half will benefit our scholarship funds. And I see our treasurer, Brad, is talking to our, our lucky winner today. And now coming to us live and in person, not from Las Vegas, is Nancy Chin Wagner with our membership moment. Thank you, Lena. And um, I get an extra three minutes, okay. So. Uh, Nancy Chin Wagner, I have a membership moment, but first I want to say hello to all my uh, peeps in the, the Zoom world, Boulder Rotary Zoom people. Love you all. I'll see you next week. Um, today, for my membership moment, I have Martha, who we all know. Oh, I should look there. Martha, who we all know, is Marty Coffin Evans, and she has a doctorate in education. She's been a member since May of 2004. That's 17 years. Marty was born in Gorman, Texas, came to Boulder at age four. She grew up on the campus, wading the irrigation ditches, ice skating on Varsity Lake, and roller skating on the terrace in front of Mackey Auditorium. She graduated from the University of Colorado with an English major and a history minor. She had a senior English uh, journalism teaching position in Pomona, California, and in her 30 plus years, in California, she earned additional degrees in a master's and a doctorate and moved to leadership positions. And she taught master's and administrative degree courses at a private university. An unusual volunteer opportunity came to her and enabled her to serve as a hostess for the Santa, An Santa Anita Equestrian events during the Los Angeles Summer Olympics. This is something new. Marty attended and graduated from clown school as Peppers. And she read to elementary school classroom students with her sidekick pockets. And they volunteered during Say No to Drugs. And she did events painting little faces and hands. She established a freelance writing company in 2001 and have had monthly reflections column in the 50 plus marketplace news since 2004. Participation in three writing groups keeps her creative, I would say juices, but you said phrases flowing. Cal Griever and Marty co-facilitated the Rotary Writers Group, which began August of 2020. So in 2004, she had the good fortune to be invited to join the Boulder Rotary where her father has been an earlier member. Marty Evans serves as the club's president, 2017 to 2018, and co-chaired caring and awards committees for several years. She has found it to be the most rewarding way to participate in this Stella service club. Her volunteering captures her interest in time through particip participation on different, sorry, boards, CUs, College of Music, the School of Education, CU Foundation as a trustee, and Marty enjoyed serving on the True Community Care Hospice Board as a member and co-chair, along with facilitating their writing through grief groups. And this year, she is serving as president of the literary group called Fortnightly, which was started in 1884 by Mary Rippon, CU's first female professor, and her husband, Robert Trembley, publisher of 50 Plus Marketplace News, and her, and her enjoy traveling, entertaining, soaking in the hot springs, who doesn't, uh, in, in Sarasota, Wyoming, uh, Ojo Caliente in New Mexico, and Pagosa Springs in Colorado. Um, they're attending home away from sports events along with area concerts and productions keeps their calendars very full. Are you ready for the questions? Okay, here we go. Can you tell us, Marty, what stood out for you as hostess in the LA Summer Games? 
The fellow who will give the program on November 5 was the one I heard speak, and I said, I would love to volunteer. I have to work. Fine. People take vacation that year, so I applied. I got it. Levi Strauss did all the outfitting of our costumes that year. So a cornflower blue skirt, white blouse with a teal collar, and I'm thinking, people said, well, why wouldn't you wear red, white, and blue? Because everybody else had red, white, and blue, so you couldn't stand out unless you had something different. So that with the Strauss, Peter Uberoff uh, was uh, head of IOC at that point. I worked in the athlete's lounge, so I got to meet some of the gold medalists. Um, Humfeld and Vargas, it was uh, short jumps and dressage. And then working in the turf club where Laird, Lord, and Lady Killanen were looking for their ride. So those were just, it was an experience like that. I don't know if I want to do this. I am so glad I did. It was beyond anything I could have thought of. Wonderful, a great experience for you. Second question, what continents have you traveled to and what are your favorites? When we were spending Christmas in the Antarctic um, in the late 90s, I realized that was my seventh continent. Uh, that one and Africa are the favorites because in Africa, you're the one in the cage. The animals, the little warthogs and everything are running all around you. When you got near an island and you wonder if the penguins were there, you just needed to have a good whiff. Oh yeah, they're right there and they sound like donkeys that are braying. So, Christmas in the Antarctic and in Africa, and in China, actually. Thank you, Marty. Last question, how was your volunteer work and Boulder Rotary Club's motto, service above self, impacted your life? I made it three years in Boulder without being part of a service club. Um, Daryl and I had actually been on a um, Heart Association board along with Elizabeth Dodds. My late husband, Ray Smith, was part of this club, and I was so happy to be able to be invited to um, become a member. I would say, as often we know, if you have an idea and you want to make it happen, just ask. That's how our writing group got started. Um, and I think also I really like the idea of connecting. Um, I just had a conversation, email, with uh, Bill Anderson and Cassidy to find out who's doing Rotaract, because CU has some leadership programs, and they said, well, what's Rotaract? Well, this is a time that we can share what we're about. The visibility, that's what I've heard, we're not as visible as we could be, so um, I'm just very grateful for the opportunity and all the wonderful folks with whom to work and share and serve. Thanks. Thank you, Marty. Thanks, Nancy and Marty. Uh, it's a wonderful way to get to know our, our members a little better through these membership moments. And Marty, I think you're gonna have to come as Pepper the Clown to a Boulder Rotary meeting one of these days. <laughs> so a lot of things have changed in the nine years since I had this gig, but some things are, are always the same. Uh, Dr. George Russell has our birthdays. <laughs> Reach for the sky, this is a stick up. Uh, actually, we don't have any birthdays today, but I thought I'd do a little poem. Uh, and it's uh, called Tiny Hands. Last night I held a tiny hand, so dainty and so sweet. I thought my heart would surely burst, so rapidly it did beat. No other hand I've held so tight Could greater happiness bring Than the tiny hand I held last night For aces and a king <laughs> I'd like to recognize Kathy Palacita again. Happy birthday, all the birthdays you missed. We're going to... To sit at the birthday table and say uh, anything you want to say is a privilege that every Rotarian gets every year. You get up to say anything you want to, so be sure and sit at the birthday table. Thanks, George. Uh, we're running a little ahead. Susan Connolly, you said we uh, might have a, a red badge induction. Uh, it wasn't on the agenda today. Do you want to try to do that? 
great. And I will let Susan come up and um, do the induction. Always, always flexible, always adaptive at Boulder Rotary. It's always a pleasure to, uh, in, to introduce a new member of our club, Dr. Stan Gralnick, who was sponsored by Dan Walford, Don Walford and Bill Anderson. Thank you to Don, and Bill's not here today. Stan holds advanced degrees from Penn and Yale and a postdoctoral certificate in the history of science in America from the Smithsonian Institution. As a historian, he has published a book and numerous academic articles. Stan also holds certificates in business administration and mediation. Stan and his wife, Alyssa, am I pronouncing her Alyssa, name correctly? Yeah. Moved to Boulder in 1973. He taught at the Colorado School of Mines until 1980, and she at the University of Colorado until 2015. Stan's second career was as a distressed loan commercial banker, first at the headquarters of Chase Manhattan in New York, and finally at Bank of the West in Denver. After retiring in 2010, he has served as a mediator in Jefferson County, as a community member in the Longmont Restorative Justice Program, and on nonprofit boards, including the Boulder College of Massage Therapy, Rocky Mountain Center for Musical Arts, and Pro Musica Colorado Chamber Orchestra. Sounds like Stan will enjoy meeting some of the other Rotarians who are serious music lovers and involved with music organizations. Stan hopes to find new volunteer projects without fixed schedules so he can, can travel more spontaneously to visit the world. His son, Daniel, who's a high school teacher in New York. His daughter, Joanna, who is a massage therapist in Ridgeway. I'm going to be there next Thursday. There's uh, only one traffic light. I know. <laughs> so you have to stop for it. <clears throat> Stan came to Boulder Rotary Club on the sage advice of Rotary member Dr. Nelson Trujillo, who told Stan that BRC and doing good works can benefit his heart as well as the community. Please welcome BRC's newest member, Stan Gralnick. Welcome. Always great to welcome new members to Boulder Rotary, even during this pandemic. We've had people joining us, and nothing could be a better tribute, I think, to this, this group of people and the people that want to be part of, part of it. Uh, Fred, please roll the brew, our Boulder Rotary update. want to take a moment to thank Anne-Marie and Scott Reeder for hosting this year's Wine to Water. 60 people came together to enjoy a perfect summer evening, great food, the best company, and a fun way to support Boulder Rotary Club's good works. Also, Rotaract was there. It was a great time. Thank you so much, Anne-Marie and Scott. We sure are going to miss you. The hills are alive with the sound of music, with songs they have sung for a thousand years. That's right, next Friday, September 17th at 7 p.m. is Boulder Rotary's Outdoor Movie Theater. It is at the field adjacent to the 95th Street YMCA. Please register at boulderrotary.org forward slash movie. It's right up there on the screen to reserve your spot. Please invite friends, families. Register soon because there are limited spots. 
My heart wants to beat like the wings of the birds that rise. With over one million members, we know what people can do when they come together. We are Rotary. We are people of action. Find out more at rotary.org. Next week, Rotary is going to the dogs, or rather, the dog is coming to Rotary. Fifle, the healing dog with mental health partners, is coming to visit us, and presumably, he'll bring an interpreter. It's going to be a great program. Don't miss it. You know what to say. Let's say it together. Have a great weekend. I do want to take a moment to acknowledge the solemn anniversary that we have coming up tomorrow. As we remember the tragic day 20 years ago, let's also remember to honor the victims and the first responders who were so courageous on that day. And now it's time to give credit to the unsung people who made this meeting possible. Uh, Past President Sam Pottinger greeted you as you came in the room. Jean Lindeke and Eve Kilmer manned the registration desk. Jancy Campbell was our raffle promoter. Thank you, Jancy. We're raising money for our scholarship programs. And of course, our incredible meeting management team, without which nothing would happen, either in person or virtually. John Lehman, Fred Hull, and Lynn Johnson. John Jonas, thank you for bringing our speaker to us, for preparing the speaker intro, and for being the responder today. Um, and of course, our incredible brew team, the three amigos, Fred, Cassidy, and Mike. I don't know about you, but I may never again be able to hear Julie Andrews singing The Sound of Music without envisioning Mike spinning around on that mountain in Wyoming. Ah, some things you just can't unsee. So now, go forth and be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>